welcome to this video so today i'm going to be talking about my daith piercing experience so this guy right here the little spiky guy is my daith piercing it's technically pronounced doth i believe however i say daith because it's spelled daith and it just like makes me uncomfortable to say doth because it's spelled like daith so i'm gonna be calling it daith okay so pain wise I knew going into it that I was going to feel a lot of pressure because the date is a pressure point and I had been watching date piercing videos and everyone said you will feel pressure. However, when I say pressure, I mean pressure. You will feel pressure. Not only will you feel pressure, but it was very extremely painful for me. So it was probably on the pain scale out of 10, it was probably like a 7.5 to 8. Actually, no, I'm going to give it a 7.5. It was my second most painful ear piercing right behind my rook. But yeah, you will not only feel pain, but you will feel a lot of pressure that's like radiating into your ear. Now the pressury feeling is obviously most intense when they pierce it. And I'd say it took around like 10 to 20 minutes minutes for me to fully stop feeling pressure but anytime you clean it or if you touch it you will start feeling the pressury feeling again in your ear now i can't feel the pressury feeling at all if i play with it now that it's fully healed it probably took i'd say maybe like a month or two for it to stop feeling pressury when i actually touched the earring that's in it. In terms of healing it, so if you watched my piercing horror story video, you know that my daith and my rook, they both got infected. My daith got very infected. And I think it's because the piercer didn't have really great sanitation. On the part of the piercing that comes out at the bottom down here, there was a huge bubble on it. And one day I was like, I think there's pus in the bubble. There was pus in the bubble. A lot of pus was in the bubble. So I popped it got the infection out. It gave me a piercing bump for a while. Luckily, tea tree oil got my piercing bump to go down. And the way you use tea tree oil is just you take a little drop of it on a cotton swab. Some people will dilute it with some water and then you just dab it onto wherever your piercing bump is. So yeah, luckily there's no more piercing bumps on my daith piercing. It ended up healing fine. I don't have problems with it anymore. It doesn't get inflamed when I change the earring in it. And yeah, that's about it. I know some people get daith piercings for headaches and I've heard for some people that it works and for others it doesn't work. I really can't speak to the headache side of the daith piercing because I didn't get headaches before but um if you're someone who got the daith piercing for headaches let people know if you had success with it or not if you have a daith piercing let me know your experience I would love to hear it and yeah that's it thanks for watching